What's up painty peeps? Today the video is going to be a lot shorter because we're just going to talk about different kinds of um, face paints or you know yeah paints for our skin out there. So the most commonly seen ones are the cream base or uh, grease base or oil base and um, these are sticky and greasy as you can see how shiny they are. These, as soon as they land on your skin, they won't just sit still there. As soon as you touch it with your hand, they're going to get smudged big time. And that is why we always set it with some sort of powder. For example, translucent setting powder or eyeshadow. Um, so these are commonly used by a makeup artist or um, clowns with a whole white face. Yeah. These ones are grease paints. Uh, grease paints are the one that they usually use because they are a bit more sweat proof as compared to our second type, which is water based face paints. As you can see, water based face paints they are usually dry. You can you need to activate it by water, and you can easily remove them by water. So, and that is the reason why most face painters actually all face painters use water base face paint just because they are more kitty friendly more kids design friendly easier to work on fancy designs and stuff but mild on the skin as compared to putting 99% alcohol on your skin ones that you see mostly in children's parties and events and uh, body paints it's usually water base face paint and uh, yeah, you don't need to set it. They dry them. They, they they dry themselves as soon as they land on the skin. They dry within like 20 seconds. So it's very very easy to work with, and it, it's not as messy. But the only downside is that some colors do stain a little bit, especially uh, red, green, and blue, or um, teal color like this. So if you're gonna going for if you're gonna go for a full face Spider Man. I'm sure it's worth the stain, but it's okay. I'm sure the Spider-Man and the Captain America, it's worth the stain. Yes, we do. We love it. And we've, we've all tried rubbing off blue color of our child's face, but yeah, that's, it's all worth it. And so the last one is zombie pay, we call it, or oh, actually these are alcohol base paint means we activate it by alcohol actually not just alcohol that you use to rub your hands for coronavirus these days these are um, very special paint that can only be activated by 99% isopropyl alcohol and mostly commonly used in um, uh, for SFX makeup or zombie walks and stuff yeah, they mostly the artists use these kind of paint to paint their prosthetic or uh, bald cap. So uh, these are the like precious little babies of most SFX artists. But for uh, face painters like us, uh, we won't really have to own any of these. But you know, it's nice to play around like for Halloween and stuff. Uh, but it's just uh, at the medium, it's different. So um, the color is more opaque and like face paint, you just have to work around that to, to get the eye, like just to make wounds and ball cap a bit more realistic and stuff. So it's, it's, just, it's a whole new chapter SFX. But uh, yeah, I'm not specialized in that, so I'm not going to explain too much about it. But now that you know, there's mainly three main kinds of um, a paint that makeup artists or face painters usually use and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I just want to keep this video short and sweet I hope you have gained a little bit of uh, knowledge on just what kind of uh, paints are out there in general so in next videos I might just start a bit on uh, technical stuff with a face paint or even just an introduction of um, basic beginners face paint materials or things that you need to start face painting i don't know i'm still working on it but yeah if you like the video make sure you hit the like button 
you don't have to subscribe just now because I've got like only three videos out there and uh, but yeah if you like the video do give me a thumbs up do give me a thumbs up yeah a thumbs up maybe and leave a comment on what you'd like the next video to be thank you for watching bye bye see you next time